Hi there, Amit here for Advices Media and in this video I am going to show you how you could set up the Pebble e smartwatch for the very first time. So here we have the Pebble, the Samsung Galaxy S with which we are going to pair this watch and here I am going to show you the actual process which is mentioned by the Pebble team. So once you buy the smartphone and once you get the package you don't have any instructions available you just have to visit the website that is go.getpebble.com following which it would ask you what kind of device you have that's iPhone and iPod or an Android tap on Android if you have an Android device and then you are ready to go now the first thing which you would get is that you need to charge your pebble by connecting it to the USB cable which has been mentioned which has been included in the package so this is the USB cable which has been included along with the actual packaging next is mentions that you need to download the pebble application so let me just do that same I'll just go to the Google Play Store search for pebble install the application let's wait for the application to be downloaded once it's installed let's open the same it would ask you to run bluetooth tap on yes following which the bluetooth would be enabled on your phone now it would say that you're not connected so now let's go to the next step which is mentioned that you need to pair the pebble with your android phone so in order to do that on your smartphone find the pebble application which is already we are on to that and then tap on click to connect following which you need to switch on the smartphone actually so for that you need to go to the pebble and press on any button which would actually take you to this screen it would say that you need to install and run the pebble application from the link that is go.getpebble.com now tap on click to connect which would ask you if you would like to pair the device now we will start searching for different devices and within a few seconds it would actually show you the pebble device that's pebble 2591 the number would be changing but this is what you would get and now we have got the exact message on both the devices tap on ok to confirm and it's connected so now we are connected to the samsung galaxy s4 and we are ready to go so now once the pairing is done you can hit the back button tap on click to connect and it would say pebble 2591 connected now the very first time you run this device or when you connect this or pay this device you would get this message which would say that there is a new update available and you need to proceed with the update onto the same tap on update now following which there would be a file which would be sent from the phone to the watch as you can see here it's saying it's updating the device wherein the files would be actually uploaded from your smartphone to the watch first and then it would be installed onto the phone onto the watch so this would take a while almost around 2 to 3 minutes to complete following which the watch would be actually updated to the latest firmware update available the task from the phone is actually done and now it's just the task which is left from the watch itself the finish of the product is not as good as you were expecting but anyway let's look into the phone uh, watch first so it says that the pebble has been updated it's fine okay we have option of set alarm watch faces you can change the watch faces and set it to classic analog and move back so this is how it works and this is where you can look into other options 
So in the next video we will be talking about the other options available here and this video was actually about how to pair the device for the first time and update the firmware for the same. Stay tuned on Advices Media for more videos. Thank you.